Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today we are going to be expanding the end of copper tube. This time we are going to be using a pipe expanding set. Previously, I showed you how to use the swaging tool. This set here, which consists of a 22mm and 15mm head and a deburring tool, costs approximately 10 times the cost of a swaging tool. Right, so we're going to focus on the 15mm pipe to start with. So we need to make sure that we put the 15mm head on. We'll just screw it up hand tight. Like that. So basically what it is, if you look at the end of the pipe when you pull the handles together, it opens out. Right, so I'm going to show you how to use, how to expand some 15 mil copper pipes. With this one, we don't have to cut the end with a hacksaw. We can use just a normal pipe slice to cut the end. And we then, we have to deburr the inside of the pipe. We still have to soften the pipe though. Right, so in the UK, in England, we use half hard copper, R250 grade. Put it, put it in and watch what happens. split it. So we need to soften the pipe using a propane gas bottle. Yes. So let's try it. Put it in. Just close, close it together. And we then release the handles. And let's have a look. So no split. Perfect. He's using some steel wool. Make sure the inside is really clean. And also make sure that the Outside is really clean. Using a using flux, using a flux brush. Never never touch flux with your hands. You flux the outside of the pipe like this, and then put it in the fitting. Aim for the join. Uh, not there, it? That's all we need. Remember folks, if we're soldering 15 mil pipe, we only need that much solder, 15 millimeters of solder. The rest would just fall onto the floor. Right, so we then wait for the solder to cool, normally about a minute, so don't move it for a minute. If you move it, you will crack the solder and it will leak. Use a wet cloth, okay, and we are going to remove the excess flux, and we then use some wire wool, make it nice and shiny, 
the way to check, folks, a good solder in. It's got a ring of solder all the way around. And there's no, and there's no drips. This week we're going to give ourselves a challenge. We're going to make a 15mm and a 22mm as per the instructions on the diagram. But when we solder it, we're going to solder it so it's upside down to practice our soldering skills this week. Right, so let me give you a demonstration on the 15mm copper pipe task. So we have got five pieces of copper pipe approximately 200mm long. Our first job is to heat up the ends of four pieces and expand them. So what we then do, on the end we heated, you can tell by it's a slightly different colour, put the tool in, one, two, three, four, like right. so we've expanded four bits of pipe. So we pick one of our expanded pipes, expanded ends, we then measure 100 mil, which is there, 10 centimetres if you're still not familiar. And then do a line there. So for this we can use a regular pipe slice or adjustable pipe cutter. We haven't got to use a hacksaw. And we cut the pipe. So one. First one. That's the first one, okay. So the second what we need to do now is we need to measure the insertion depth of the fitting. So what we do draw a pen line. It's the insertion depth is ten millimeters. Right, so what we then do with our second pipe that we've expanded. From the expanded end, we measure 100 mil plus 10 millimeters to 110, which is there. And do a line. And we then, and we then cut that one. one Third, one third, half third, and then one hand, a piece, the piece of pipe that we didn't expand, we just need to measure 110 mil. We've got so the pipe that's going to be soldered, so where we solder, we need to clean the inside and the outside of each join. Like Flux each join one, two, three, four, four, each join. So in my previous video of my swaging pipe. I soldered the pipes the right way up, but this time I'm going to solder the pipes upside down just to show you just to show that you can still solder via capillary attraction. So just like before we're gonna 
I'm going to wedge our pipe into, I'm not going to use a vice. Right, so we're going to solder our pipes upside down. So on the last soldering one, the persuading exercise, we soldered our pipes this way up. But now we're going to solder it upside down so the solder will get sucked into the fitting by capillary attraction. It's a little bit harder to do because we want the pipe to look good and we don't want drips of solder. It's too much like that, just too much solder spoils the job. Literally. If we have a look round, can we see a ring of solder? That's literally all you need. sort of see the ring of solder has gone all the way around right there. so no more than that and then the last one the bottom one you can see the ring of solders appeared like that We're going to wipe off the excess flux. You can see, you can see the ring of solder have gone all the way around like that. Ten bar pressure. Expanding the end of a pipe enables you to connect another piece of pipe to it. If you never had an expanding tool, you'd have to use a fitting like this, a coupling, 15 mil coupling here, like this. So two joins, one, two, whereas the expanded one has only got one join. So now you know how to use a pipe expander, it's your turn to make one out of 15 mil and 22 millimeters to the specifications on the diagram. And also to give you a challenge, solder it upside down.